Hello everyone, welcome to the upcoming show. We saw Amy and Lindy walking on a little performance routine with Hardy and Spartan at the beginning of the program. They made the decision to take a ride after they were finished. They then came across the local herd of wild horses at that point. Kaz, the leader of the herd, was one of them. He has a history of being hostile and kicking other horses out of the herd and in this episode, we witnessed his rage flare up once more. Because a new horse trotted up to the herd while Lindy and Amy were keeping an eye on the wild horses, but Kaz angrily pursued the horse away rather than embracing it as a buddy. However, the odd thing about this horse was that it was wearing a halter. Consequently, it was not a fresh wildy looking to join Kaz's herd. Someone owned the stallion. After Kaz chased the horse away, Lindy wanted to pursue it. However, it was growing cold. It is winter after all. So Amy made the decision to return home and search for the horse the next day. Amy and Georgie woke up early the following morning to go in search of the missing horse. So they left along with Lindy who insisted on coming along as well. And after some looking, they discovered the creature. That was all well and good, but Lindy appeared to immediately become connected to the new horse, which was not ideal because they were not allowed to keep the horse. Naturally, Amy attempted to explain to Lindy that the horse already has an owner. To find out if anyone in the neighborhood had reported a lost horse, she had even called Scott earlier, but Lindy had a hard time accepting it. So much so that Lindy became very unhappy when Chandra Rainfield, the genuine owner of the horse, whose name was Xavier, arrived the following day. Amy did make an effort to reason with Lindy by informing her daughter that Chandra likely feels the same way about the horse as Lindy does, but Lindy didn't understand a word of it. Fortunately, Amy was able to cheer up her daughter by volunteering to perform together at Lou and Peter's party. So. She and Lindy practiced their routine while Amy rode Spartan and Lindy rode Xavier and then they put a spectacular display for everyone in attendance. Unexpectedly, Georgie received an email from Eleanor Hinchcliffe, a renowned coach who has a track record of helping riders return to jumping after the stress of an accident. The only drawback is that it will require Georgie to relocate to Brussels, where Eleanor walks. Georgie was touched that such a well-known instructor had initially contacted her. Furthermore, after rediscovering her love for show jumping in the previous episode, Georgie actually gave Eleanor's offer some serious thought. However, Georgie was unsure of the best course of action. Even though her desire to compete in the Olympics may still exist in the back of her mind, moving to Brussels would involve many changes for her. She also had to think about Quinn a lover in addition to herself and her family. Therefore, Georgie discussed it with Amy. Georgie's inability to fully understand what her heart desires is the problem, and things got much more complex when Quinn unexpectedly showed up at the ranch. Eleanor is in Brussels, which Quinn was aware of. Because of this, after Georgie informed Quinn of the offer, he questioned Georgie about its sincerity. Georgie responded, I am thinking about it, but she didn't really have a definitive response yet. They had little more time to converse before Peter and Lou's wedding ceremony began. After the ceremony, Quinn appeared to have the idea that he needed to take drastic action if Georgie did decide to move in order for their relationship to continue. As a result, he asked Georgie to meet him outside and proposed marriage. Georgie was unable to speak. Lou again interrupted them, informing them that Amy wants the entire family to congregate in the jumping ring. After the festivities were over, Quinn eventually discovered Georgie in Katie's room lost in meditation. They were able to discuss the unanswered proposal and puzzles at this point. Quinn said, you never answered my question. Georgie replied, I don't know what to say. Quinn said, just say yes. Georgie said, look. I know why you are asking, you are afraid that we will lose each other and our relationship won't survive the distance if I choose to go to the Brussels. Queen said, that's not true, I love you, I had loved you for years and I have wanted to marry you for years. Georgie said, I love you too but you don't need to ask me to marry you to prove it, we are so young, we don't need a ring to know we love each other. Queen said, 
okay yeah okay i get it and that makes sense i'm sorry and of course you should go to brussels you have to georgie said i think it's meant to be queen said all i know is that some things happen at exactly the right time georgie asked will you come with me queen said mm, i don't know i feel like this is something that you got to do on your own so they decided together exactly as Georgie had wished. Quinn will remain in Florida and Georgie will travel to Brussels. And because they love each other and want to be together ring or no ring, the two will make their long distance romance work for as long as they need. That's it for this video. If you like the content, like our video, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications.